we're going to build a tower in this space. And that sounds like an exaggeration, but look, we can do it. And currently I'm on floor 6. I add one block per second. If I click, I add more blocks per second. And yes, for the particularly keen amongst you, you'll see that the faster I click, the more I place, the higher I go. But we can also upgrade the tower at times, I think to turn into a different material. We sacrifice blocks, but then we get to start out of a new material. I'm not sure what the benefit is yet, but we now have wood. There's some other cool building materials. Some of the big towers seem to have left, or maybe they restarted. So if you need me, I'll be sitting here drinking coffee with one hand and clicking away with the other. Though it does only take 500 blocks to uh, get a new tower material. We are currently 0% of the way to space. We're headed for Jupiter. We're going to punch this tower straight through it. Just about to 500 where we get to upgrade to a stone tower. It keeps putting me on top every time we complete a floor. Hi yeah. And then stone tower. We use 500 blocks. I don't know if there's any point to doing that other than it looks different. Because we need the blocks to use as currencies for other things. And as we get more blocks, we get eggs that I think add pets that probably give us blocks per second. You will be mine, you beautiful idiot. This pet better be worth it. I've never clicked 500 times for anything in my life. I guess that is also why I have an auto clicker installed. That way I can go from 400 to 450 all the way up to 500 pretty much in the blink of an eye. Because we don't have time to wait. The faster I get through this, the bigger a tower is going to be ultimately. Uh, one of these, please. What do we got? A bat? It's common. But that's okay. It's okay to be common. I'm the most common person there is in the world. So we're going to go ahead and equip this. Uh, and then it gets, I don't know what, extra blocks per click? Yeah, we get extra blocks per click. Uh, plus, uh, we have a bat following us around, so that's always a benefit. We're already up to 500 blocks again. That was actually stupidly quick. The next egg is 3.5 thousand, so we'll get one more of these before going to that one. And this one's rare. It's a balloon buddy. This is uh, times 1.25, which seems to be less than the other one for some... Well, I don't care. Just keep going. More blocks. Hey, I can actually see myself moving on the chart finally. We just have to click a lot to get to where we're going, but I'm going to save up 3,500 for a better pet. And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to use auto clicker probably quite a lot, because it really is going to get me up there pretty quick. And pretty soon we get to see if there's fall damage. That's close enough to 3,500. Splat. No fall damage. That's a shame. Okay, we're going to get one of these. We have a chance for a legendary uh, tentacle monster. We got a, a legendary uh, shark, apparently. That adds 2.5 times. So we're going to have to unequip something. So we're probably going to actually unequip this because somehow it's the worst. And then we're going to equip that. Or equip best. We'll let the game think for us. Three of three pets. Okay, 6.5 blocks per tap now is actually kind of ridiculous already. All thanks to these beautiful peasants doing all the work for me. This isn't even auto-clicking at this point, and we're already up to 800 blocks. We're going to be back up to 3,500 no time for be better pets, more blocks, more building. But still, I'm going to use the auto-clicker anyway, because we're already back up to 2,500. There is almost 3,000. We got a rare unicorn bat. 1.9 times, so we're just going to go equip best, and that's what it looks like. 6.9 blocks per tap, back to the top. And before you know it, we get another polka dot egg, and we got a legendary spike shark, so that's a second one of those we got. And that's a really great find, because that's going to uh, remove our basic level idiot and put us up to 7.9 blocks per tap. I've never been so excited to have blocks. And they have a gift ready. You receive spooky spider pet plus 250 blocks. Oh, okay. Is that actually? Oh, it is actually a pet. Not a very good one. It's actually worse than everything else. I did also see I can rebirth already. That's going to give me extra bonuses. And I mean, I think I keep the pets anyway. And I don't lose my progress, so I just actually get better. So I get 8 blocks per tap now because I clicked on a button. Oh, is only 1,000 to upgrade my tower to the sand? We're gonna do that then. Nice sand tower, very structural. Uh, in fact, we're gonna admire that for a quick second before upgrading to uh, iron. The next pet costs 25,000 blocks. That's not actually that bad, especially at this point. These actually look a lot better. I like this one. Makes me feel very important. I feel like we're actually getting pretty high up there. We're like a little over a third of the way as tall as that guy's tower. And we're just getting started. Now that I'm here, though, I should probably rebirth, because that's going to get me uh, passive per second. We did just knock our tower down a lot, but three blocks per second in the background is actually a big help. Then, you know what? We're going to do one more rebirth anyway. That's going to take us from 3 and 8.1 to 4 and 8.1. But seriously, those little things will make a difference over time especially, because we're going to be here for a little while. Conjuring blocks from our very heart. So apparently to reach the moon, you need to go about 19,000 blocks up. I don't actually see the moon, but presumably it's out here somewhere. We're actually getting close to space already, which is good and bad because we can go so much higher than this. I did also see the moon uh, for a fleeting second. It is up there somewhere. It's just hard to actually see. Pretty sure it was 25,000 we needed for the next pet. Oh, there's not fall damage, but you can fall and die. 25,000? I'll take one of these. We have legendary mythical mythical. I like my odds here. Give me one of these. Legendary spike shark. 
Oh, no, we got a dragon. I'm just stupid. So there we go. We're going to equip that. 8.2, 9.8, which, yeah, again, is a really big increase. So I'm going to drink some coffee and we're going to wait right here. What's the symbol above my head supposed to be? It's Santa lighting dynamite on fire. Anyways, we got well over the 25,000 we need for the next pet, so we're going to ragdoll ourselves to the bottom. I didn't notice there was $10,000 pets because they're not really in order. So we're going to buy another 25,000 because it's just a better deal. And we got a purple thing again. It gets hard to see, so we got a void spider, which brings us up to 10.7 blocks per tap. It's fun to think that the tower goes from this little thing like way up into space. There's the moon again. The moon moves. That's why I can't keep an eye on it. And another void egg. What are we going to get with love a mythical? And we got another one of these guys. And that's perfectly fine anyway. It's all an upgrade that all link brings us to more upgrades. 11.7 .7 blocks per tap. Basically 12. So we're going straight to the top. Pretty sure before I left it said it was only 5,000 uh, blocks to upgrade the material again. So we're going to do that because I want like an emerald tower like that guy. Wool? Uh, that's probably... No, that guy does have an emerald tower. It's very expensive though. So for now we're going to settle for a snow tower. Everybody loves snow. Anyone that says otherwise is lying. Can I merge these? I just realized I have three bats now. Oh, the more you put in, the higher chance you have. Of, so if I put three of these in, there's a 60% chance of gold. And it failed. <laughs> they all just got mulched. Okay, so I have these two spare dummies. I'm going to try and use them. 40% uh, chance is more than enough for me. Success, we got a new pet. A spike shark. 4.25 times. That's actually way better than anything else I have. I probably should also prestige again, just because my rate's slowing down. So we're going to go from 4 and 12.5 to 5 and 12.65 it does make a difference but i've got a fun idea i just need to save up some 25,000 for some 25,000 dollar pets so what i'm gonna do with my fortune is save up just a little bit more so we're over 75,000. that way i can buy three of these pets okay we're gonna do one at a time then that's fine legendary and mythical which actually kind of works against my plan but that's a rare find regardless and what do we got um legendary void spider okay so now we're just going to go to equip best because i'm pretty sure that's worth times five that's crazy by itself now i can smash these two together i would have liked to have higher odds to do this but i'm feeling lucky there's only a 20 percent chance yeah we're not going to do that yet we're going to build some more tower 7500 now we have deep slate which basically looks darker and stronger off we go i'll be back in a couple minutes 212,000 blocks later and i think it's safe to say we are the tallest tower currently but it's still gonna get worse so we'll head back down to buy some new pets it's actually gonna take a while just to hit the ground we are really high up there now we get to find out if hundred thousand dollar pets are worth it we have everything from common to mythical and we're gonna start with a common that's wonderfully uh useless and what else we got common to be fair the common pets there might actually be really really strong they are times five so they're as good as my best one currently so we're at 16.4 blocks per tap then it's only going to cost us 33,000 for another rebirth so we're going to do one of those now we're at six blocks a second in the background 16.5 every tap but i think it's time we escalate a little bit more we're going to do double build speed and two times blocks so now we have 12 blocks per second in the background, and this number should eventually double to 33. I didn't notice this before, but we can actually get more pet equipped. That's actually going to give us a big boost because we can throw more pets in there. And then I'm going to add a uh, super lucky as well, just for consistency's sake. Now we can go equip best and we should have uh, eight pets equipped. Oh yeah, three plus five. That makes sense. And all things considered, I'm up to 35 blocks per click. So even those few little things just made a massive difference straight to the moon. We're already up to 27,000. There's 30,000. So yeah, we're going to go pretty tall on this one. Green wool is the way to go. We'll keep it bright and exciting. That way everyone will see my tower. Not going to be able to miss this thing. It really takes no time at all to save up another 200,000 blocks. Okay, we're going to open two more $100,000 eggs. I didn't see what that was because I looked away. And that's actually really quick. But if we go to equip best, we'll see what we got. And then we got four of those now. And we're up to 51.2 blocks per second. But since we have four of the one idiot, let's smash them all together. There's an 80% chance for this to succeed. Success, new pet added. So we go to equip best and it was this, frozen winged fresh for 8.5 times. So we actually lost a little bit there, but we did gain a really good pet. So this will make it even quicker to go. I did also just buy two boosts for uh, blocks. Uh, we might have already had that in the background anyway. Whatever the case, we're going to the top. Yeah, it's taking no time at all to build up hundreds of thousands of blocks. And since we're making money at a stupid rate, we're definitely going to get a new material for this. Coral tower sounds nice. Emerald tower, gem tower is the most expensive. There's a diamond tower even. 
uh, for now, we're going to see what the Coral Tower looks like before committing on it. I'm all about the aesthetics. I don't like this one at all. I think Magma Tower is going to be my friend. That looks fun. So I think it's time we start saving up for some $500,000 pets, which isn't going to take long. We're already one-fifth of the way to the first one. And just as I finally pass that guy's height uh, way up here, we're about to hit 1.5 million blocks. That's a lot of blocks. So let's go buy some new pets if we ever make it to the ground again. And I think these are the most expensive things I can buy so far. Anything from a common to mythical. Let's hope we get three mythicals. I wouldn't complain with that. I think that was a common. Didn't really see it. Gotta start paying more attention. Uh, well, it happened so quick to be fair. Okay, so the new pets were this, this, and this. So we got 13 times, 13 times, and 11 times, which is crazy strong. That'll take us from 56 blocks per tap to 81. That's like a 50% increase over where we just were. That's absurd. And I, for one, am absolutely here for it. There's 50,000, 60,000, 70,000. I just realized I've been a little unfair to rebirths. These are only costing $42,000 each, and they're actually going to add a lot. Like, doing these will take us from 12 and 82. What did I say? 12 and 82? We're going to rebirth away until we're out of money, which is only going to take a few more of these, probably. We went from 12 and 82 to 52 and 82.2. Well, 52 blocks a second in the background is kind of ridiculous. It didn't really have a big effect on my active blocks, but 52% second in the background. Oh, and I've got a friend that wants to come up my tower with me. You know, basically that confirms we need more pets. Another 1.5 million for another three ludicrously expensive pets. So we're going to equip best. That takes us from 82.2 to 97.7. And I see we have four of these. So let's put them in the craftomatic uh, 10,000. We have a 60% chance. Uh, if this doesn't work, we're losing $2 million. Yeah, we got a new pet. I'm pretty sure that gave us the frozen ice shock for times 13. There's also 15 pets equipped. What do we have now? Like eight? Okay, now I should be able to equip all of my pets, which brings us up to 122 per second, which is much quicker again. So we need to add some more levels. Look at the size of that thing. Almost 100 million blocks. I like this guy. So now our numbers are going to go up much quicker than before. And the more we make, the more we make, the more pets we get, the faster we make money back. I think it's time we're deserving of not only an emerald tower, but a diamond tower. We're going to ride our way straight across space on a diamond tower. So once we saved up like $500 trillion, I'll come back and buy a bunch of pets. We'll probably smash them all together into super pets and then just keep building straight to the moon. Seems to be working. We're just going to auto pet until we're out of money and then we're going to see what we're left with and smash them all together. So this pile of pets themselves will take us from 122 all the way up to 201. So that was over a 50% increase. Oh, there's also like super, super eggs. 150 million blocks for this egg. 35 million blocks. Well, I've definitely got enough to combine some of these guys uh, into a 100% chance of, of this. So we're going to do that. So now we have a new better version of that pet. Uh, we're down to 195. So that did take a little bit away, but it was always going to. But we can combine some of these. We'll buy more pets. It'll be okay. 60% chance. I'm going for it. Oh, we just lost so many. Not to worry. To make up for that, we can actually buy limited time eggs. So we get these exclusive things. That's probably fine. I think if we buy a few of these, it'll put us back over uh, 200 easy enough. So these guys are times 16 each. That one's 25. So uh, yeah, that's way going to put us over 200. 213. So I went ahead and bought just a few more of those. That's a times 25 by himself. So we put them all together. 257 blocks per second. Pretty sure we just effectively doubled our block rate. So back to the moon we go. Another 5 million blocks. I never really noticed this thing before. I thought it was a continuation of other stuff. Buy limited OP. That's really expensive, isn't it? I don't know. I'm going to buy it. I do think I also want to hatch another 10 pets. Uh, hopefully I get the dark matter version of them or whatever, if I'm understanding this correctly. All pets you hatch for 30 seconds will be dark matter. Does this start right away? Uh, yeah, down in the lower left, there's 30 seconds on the clock. Does that mean I need to start hatching them for that to work? I'm going to assume that's how it works. So we're just going to start auto buying. Okay, there we go. The timer started and we're just going to auto buy and hopefully get dark version. We got whatever that is. Oh, the New Year's pet finally. I didn't have room for it before. We're already up to 350 blocks per tap and I haven't even equipped uh, most of these new ones. So what were we at? 250 before this. So we'll take the pets, equip best. And we're up to about 600 blocks a tap. Uh, the best of which being 19, 16, 25, etc. Should I take a 60% chance of turning these three into gold? I'm going to. Oh no, we lost them. Well, okay, we're still over 500 blocks a second. Lesson learned. That was actually really expensive because those are bot pets that I just lost. I mean, I say I learned something from that. I really didn't. Back to the moon. 
It's alarmingly fast how quick I can save up 5 million blocks. I think we need some more dark matter pets. I kind of wonder if that also works for the ones you can just buy. Like the ones you pay for? It probably does. We're going to try that. We're going to open one. Hopefully that's dark and then we're going to rent the other one. This is just an experiment for now. Okay, we got that one. Uh, okay, good. Uh, it didn't start the timer, so I don't think it works. That's fine. We added a free pet anyway. Not a free pet, but we added a pet. And we're going to keep auto buying these. The timer is going, but these should all be dark matter whatevers. All right, there's another 10 of them purchased. And that's going to take us from 510 to 770 per second. So there's another 50% increase again from where we were. Look at them all. Man, I've really got to start paying attention. There's a galactic egg over here too. Uh, it's very expensive. We're definitely going to buy one of these though. Is that a lot of Robux? I can't remember. Okay, we're up to 877 blocks per tap basically thanks to that. So we need a few more of these. I mean like any good adult, if I have money, I might as well spend it. So we equip best and then we click and 932 blocks per tap, basically 1000 per tap. So that means when we start going, there's 200,000, there's 300,000. It's almost 100,000 per second. So it's probably going to take like 12 seconds to make 1 million. So we'll keep going up. And just like that, we're up to 112 million blocks. That's 4,600 floors. And yeah, we're definitely a little bit out in space at this point. And it takes a long time to drop from 4,600 floors as it turns out. Like a really long time. I am still falling. I am kind of curious to see what a Candyland egg is. It's only 35 million blocks. It's not that bad. We're going to get one of these idiots. Uh, before doing that, I wanted some Dark Matter boost. That way I could at least buy one of these. And we're sure to get a Dark Matter guy out of the deal. Void Eternal, which I'm pretty sure I already had. Maybe I saw that wrong. That doesn't make sense to me. We must have got something out of that. I'm not really sure what we got out of that. It happened really quickly, so I missed it. Oh, it's probably this, the Dark Matter Dino. <laughs> but that does officially put us over 1,000 blocks per tap. Then it's back to the top. Sometime later, 250 million blocks, almost 10,000 floors. If you want to know how high that is, it's this high. It's to the point where I can barely even see the island somewhere down below me. Now, are we able to see the top of the tower? Not even close. It just goes endlessly up there. But what we're all looking for is a $150 million block. Hopefully we get something incredibly rare out of it. $150 million, I think we got the common thing. That's actually not that good. I mean, it's good. It's not the super version of it or anything. 35 times. So we just go to equip best and it made the cut, but not by much. It did add 13 blocks per tap. So at the very least, we did build a really big tower and I made some friends.